I'm going to show you the inside of America's first space station Skylab and how the astronauts live day by day. It's so cool. Hi, I'm John Williams, and I'm standing in front of the Skylab mock-up that the astronauts use to train in. So it was basically a simulator that the astronauts used to train in for all three Skylab missions. So if we look over here, we can see a huge solar panel. This was one of two solar panels that was on Skylab. Now, when Skylab was launching, one of the panels got ripped off and we only had one to power it. That ended up being enough after some repairs, but it was a problem. And this was a backup when they were building Skylab. So if the solar panels broke before they were launched, they would have put this one on. So it's really cool. And this one in particular is operational, even if it's not plugged in. So I could go up and touch it and I get a little shock back. Ugh. So, yeah. So now we have two spacesuits. This is a Russian spacesuit that we use, that the Russians use today when they go to the space station on the Russian Soyuz rocket. And then this is the Apollo spacesuit that the astronauts used to go to the moon and what the Skylab astronauts used on their missions. They were built for the Apollo 18. They were built, some of them were built for the Apollo 18 and 19 missions, but most of them were made from scratch. So this could have been rated to go on the moon, but basically they modified it so that the astronauts could use this on EVAs with a certain um, backpack that was now on their chest. It's not a backpack, but this was the one time they put their life support systems on their chest. So this was um, Dr. Garrett. He, and you can see him right here, Dr. Owen Garrett. Garriott, excuse me. And that's cool. But if we come over here, this is the Skylab remaining, this is one of the Skylab O2 tank fragments that fell from space and landed in Australia. This um, oxygen tank was the biggest piece of Skylab debris to, to survive when it crashed into the earth. And it's an amazing piece of history because you get a real sense for what Skylab was because we never saw it, but now we have what Skylab was and this is what the astronauts used to survive. So if you come over here, you can look inside and you can see this is a rubber shell with some outer type of hay material. And this is what held their O2. So now let's go inside Skylab. So this is what the astronauts trained in. And this is basically what Skylab looked like. If you look up, you can see this whole recreational area where they also used experiments and many future space technologies. It's really cool. And this is all made of metal. And we still don't have an ISS component that is big enough to um, equal this because this was a lot of space the astronauts had. So if we also come over here, we can see the hatch they used to get into their spacecraft. We saw, the, we can see the um, kitchen table where they plugged in their trays, which would heat up their food. We have this experimental chair, which looks like a dental chair. We also have this exercise bike and this little, um, this little tube that would pull up is actually their shower and they would wash themselves in it. The only, it's the only station I know that had a fully working shower. It's incredible. So this is Skylab. Please subscribe, share our videos and excitement about space with everyone.